top 10 most anticipated anime of 2022 2024 jesus christ see i'm i'm tired have mercy let's continue 2023 has been a year of surprises but what if i tell you that 2024 has more in store Ooh. for everyone High school, it's really early something, but between it? the currently confirmed new anime and confirmed sequels 2024 is shaping up to be a i stopped watching anime for a long while for a while now so but i'm gonna get back out to it because i what i the one anime i still kind of keep up with is one piece because that's where my heart is that's where it's at one piece for life year to remember but today i'll be giving you a preview Ooh, of 2024 um, by running down the, a preemptive the, list of the most this, anticipated like mob cycle, anime series like... that are coming next year some great sequels promising new anime and one of the most anticipated titles to get an adaptation incoming okay what is this okay the Witch and the Beast will be the first entry. The Witch and the Beast. What is that? That meant to be like a beauty. Oh. We have here one of the shows looking to set the tone for the year. Set to air in winter 2024, The Witch and the Beast is already looking to be one of the more artistic titles the year has prepared for us, putting us once again in a European setting made familiar to us by the likes of Undead Murder Farce or Vanitas. We can easily infer what to expect in The Witch and the Beast. Shows in these kinds of settings often come with a flair for the dramatic and the mysterious, and this show is no exception. For this show, we get introduced to first-class mage Ashaf and the temperamental Guido, a pair who deal with problems of the magical variant. The latter okay. has been struck with a witch's curse, and this is a story of her quest for revenge. But it won't come easy, as witches have become powerful beings looming ominously over society. The Witch and the Beast is a thriller with no shortage of mysteries and complex character motivations. It's overall a pretty good show to pick up as the year starts, as it provides a lot of engage... My guy, you said... The December or something of 2024. So how's that the year start? That's the end of the year, bro. Or maybe it's just me that heard. Hear you wrong there. In elements that both veteran and new anime fans can take a liking to. What do you mean 2023? Yeah. Up next will be the second season it's of the channel. Marshall. Oh. Oh, that I watched the first couple of episodes. Actually, I need to catch up on this. This is it was interesting. It was actually pretty good. Now that didn't take long, did it? It just seemed like months ago that everyone's favorite comically overpowered hero is back to grace our screens. It looks couldn't. like more of those second Can't calls disguised as a second and season, but does it matter? Marshall is coming back and it's going to be as wild as ever. Marshall has always been a ton of fun since its first season, and a lot of fans couldn't get enough of what seems to be One Punch Man's spiritual successor. Yes. But the second season, expect more of the same from the show and what made it such an entertaining watch. Mm. Marshall is a show that has a simple plot by all means, but the comedy just takes the series to new yeah, heights. For funny. a show that seems to be nothing but dumb fun, it's got some genuinely epic battles, and it could be your show to watch if you're up for some light-hearted excitement. <laughs> なくしものをそうか。あ、すい。ついに。あ、すい。ついに。あ、すい。ついに。あ、すい。ついに。あ、すい。ついに。あ、すい。ついに。あ、すい。ついに。あ、すい。ついに。あ、すい。ついに。あ
I know people would watch that. I w- I don't want them to name, make name names, but yeah, that's very cool. Seems like. Konosuba makes its return in 2024. Ooh, I've seen this, but I never watched it. Seen it around on Crunchyroll, is it? I think, or I've seen it around, anyways. It feels nice God, I am Konosuba doing my work, babe. After what Just seemed like give a me very time. long silence on the anime side of things, things were announced in waves back in 2022. Yeah, After I saw this. It's recently been concluded. It's finally time I never for the big it. thing. The I think I season to the main story, and it's coming in hmm. 2024. By okay. this point, Konosuba has arguably become a gold standard for isekai comedy. It's always been a popular show that's very unrestrained in what it does, whether it be the lewd and degenerate jokes, the exaggerated reaction faces, and the in-your-face nature of the comedy. That has given it a signature charm that's garnered fans from anime fans everywhere. And, and it's coming it back shot, with then. a whole array of new jokes and insanity next year. Okay. Fans have been waiting for this for years now. I might give it a shot. Time of their lives once again. I might give it a shot i haven't watched it but i might give it a shot why don't i you know Spice and wolf is up next for the remake treatment what's this Spice and wolf? what's that what a surprising remake spice and wolf has been one of the enduring success stories from dengeki bunko and this title getting a remake in 2024 is a pleasant surprise I have a lot of fond memories of the show, as it was a beautiful fantasy romance adventure with a touch of medieval economics. The anime has been one of the better adapted light novels out there, but I guess we can't have too much holo. So if you weren't around back in the late 2000s, Spice and Wolf tells the story of the traveling merchant Lawrence. Looking to open up his own shop, he runs into the wolf deity of legend, the harvest goddess Holo. Finding a suitable partner in Holo due to her abilities, Lawrence travels the countryside with his new partner, the two of them carrying their own aspirations as they explore and learn more about the colorful world around them. I do think this is an attempt to revive the franchise as it's been almost two decades already. Would be nice to see some new faces in the fan base. If you're curious to know what the hype from the older anime is all about, don't hesitate to take the jump and watch this show when it airs next year. Okay. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. It's not, it's not for me. But it's not bad. 2024 is looking good. And we've got a lot more amazing anime ahead. Before we get to them, go hit. See what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for Black Clover. I'm waiting for Black Clover. I need Black Clover to come back. Come on. I'm waiting for it. 2024. I'm imagining. I don't know when. I don't know if it is. I like but and I want some of my action. Do better and help the channel grow. Come Done. on. All right. Let's get back to the show. Next up is Classroom of, of the, the Elite, Elite. Season. Season three. Season three. Wow. I watched season one. I remember when I actually watched it when it came out and I loved it. I haven't watched season two yet. I will catch up with that. And I might actually do a re- reaction. I might do some review. I might watch do a, I'll do a watch along and yeah, I could probably set try and set that up when when I'm going to start watching season two. But yeah. Let's give it let's 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 talk about that later. But for now, let's focus on this good story main characters just oh god love it this is like one of the exceptions when it comes to not action because but it, there is From a series that people have been wanting a sequel to into two sequels in quick succession, Classroom of the Elite has been having a pretty nice run as of late. Mm. Then again, with the success of the novels, I do think this third season shouldn't be seen as unexpected when it was announced alongside the second season back then. And it's always welcome to see more of everyone's favorite big brain protagonist back in mm. action. Classroom of the Elite has often been cited as a series that's better read than watched due to the amount of dialogue and how much it relies on getting to know the context and the inner workings of the characters. Still, nah. that doesn't mean that the anime won't be enjoyable. The I second enjoy season the upped the stakes and created a more streamlined narrative, making it a far more enjoyable watch compared to the first one. With the what? anime team on a roll, we can expect season three to follow the same pattern. Okay, I'll give they that better a do, shot. With the I'll... next season having more. So you're saying season two is even better than season one in the way it's easy to watch? Or mental cool. battles in store. Oh, please don't tell me it's just... Because what made him so good and unique at first, in the first season, was the fact that he didn't use much of... He didn't use much of his fist. He used his brain more than his fist. He wasn't like, oh, I'm going to be fighting everybody. It was just the way he did it was so well. Oshinoko makes his return for a second season in 2024. 
With Oshinoko this? being one of the biggest anime hits of 2023, it would be a shocker if a Damn. sequel was never announced, especially with the cliffhanger at the end of the first season. Thankfully, our wait won't have to be too long, and the Tokyo Blade arc will grace our screens next year. What's Things this? are about to come to a head with what some consider to be one of Oshinoko's best arcs. Love triangles, Oshinoko. personal demons, and a murder and mystery still looming in the background. Things are looking real good for okay. Oshinoko, and after some great arcs for the first season, that's saying something. Oshinoko okay. has been a fan favorite and for good reason too. I'm sure you might be pleased to see these characters who captured our hearts make a comeback and the show will continue to dazzle with its heartfelt stories and commentaries on the entertainment industry. It's got everything you'd want for an anime in this genre and it's only getting better. Okay. No bad, no bad. How about a new anime to spice things up oh. a bit? Gaiju number eight is up next. Gaiju. What's this about? Oh, okay. That looks cool. Oh, that looks dope. It really is a trend with anime series getting greenlit, it seems. Not so long after getting Chainsaw Man, we have Gaiju number 8 ready to make its mark on the anime world. You can see where this is going now, can't you? Gaiju number 8 is the story of Gafka, who's long resigned to being a sweeper, which is exactly what it says. People who dispose of Gaiju remains after the action's done. He long dreamt of being on the front lines and taking on the grotesque monsters himself, but such a dream felt like an insanely long reach. Thankfully, or not, he encounters a parasite-type kaiju, one that attacks him and turns him into a monster. Finally having the power to take on the monster as one of them, Gafgar gives his dream of fighting the kaiju a shot. A familiar premise in a familiar setup, Kaiju number 8 seems to be a show looking to build on the success of Chainsaw Man. The story is really fun and the fight scenes are nothing but spectacular in manga okay. form. It's a story that's full of hype moments that just refuses to let you put it down. Mappa is not the one handling the series in anime form, but I'm positive production IG can also knock it out of the park with this one. That looks cool so far. Like, if you've been looking for more monster mashes that's full of high octane fight scenes, come to the right place. Okay. Okay. So basically, a parasite enter you and give you powers. Very, very anime esque. Because that is creepy as hell, bro. Something enter you and you have powers and you're okay with that. Bro. I would have gone to hospital to take it out right there and there. Okay, what power you bring me? At number Maybe two, we take a look Actually at Blue depends. Lock Season 2. Blue Lock. Oh. That sounds familiar. Oh, it's football. Is it the, fo the football one? Wow. True to my expectations, Blue Lock had become one of the hottest sports series out there. The sport, I mean, yeah, how could it not be, though? It's the got a unique one. way of approaching its story. The, the, it's not the other people in the other side, side of the world, they call it soccer. The sports story. Football! But we're in an era now where that's what a lot of anime viewers like. It also helps that the plot is fairly easy to follow, yet opens the doors to some intricacies that will put our characters to the test. I mean, okay. don't get me wrong, this isn't exactly a sports show that brandishes its realism in spite of doing away with the usual friendship tropes in sports anime and the like. But it does make for a very interesting watch, and season two looks to pick up where the first season left off. Okay. We don't have much info on this one yet, but it seems poised for a late 2024 release. That's Eight bits cool. done a decent like job the series too. so far, and if they can straighten out some wrinkles with season one's production, then this ought to be golden. Okay. The world's watching, and the expectations are sky high for season two of Blue Lock. Okay. Blue Lock. To cap things off. We have solo leveling. Wow. Oh, solo leveling is just coming out. Wow. Or was he already out? If you've been anywhere near the web novel scene the past couple of years, yes. you'd likely have heard of solo leveling. Being one of the most popular titles on the internet, it felt it like is. an inevitability in that, that would get an anime adaptation, especially coming off the heels of those major Korean titles getting anime adaptations back in 2020. Mm. Originally scheduled for 2023, the anime has since been pushed back to 2024, but I think that just increases the anticipation for it. After all, people just couldn't get enough of this story of super-powered humans who combat monsters. Why? Well, it's a dark underdog story that's an unapologetic power fantasy and backed with spectacular art in its source material. Yeah. Its success should come as no surprise. People yeah. just love those whole weak to strong stories with hype moments as seen with the popularity of things like Ari Fioretta. 
and that's precisely why this is one of the most anticipated anime for the year 2024. Okay. If you can't wait to see what the buzz is all about for solo leveling, well, you don't have to wait for much longer. Okay, when this came out, when the manga, when the um, manga came out for this, or when the webtoon came out, whatever you want to call it, I don't give a damn. But yeah, when it came out, I was, how do I say this? I was hyped. I read it all. I read everything. I caught up to the to, to it, and then so that's what I did. I went to go read the webs. The the just uh, what's it called? The it wasn't the web. The, the web. I went to go read the what's it called? What's it called? The just the right the written the, the I don't know what kind of my, my brain's not working at the moment. But yeah, I just went to go read it, and normally I'm impatient, but I was so impatient then, man. I was in sec. I was in college then. I was in like third year. I'm doing nights, bro. Nights that that's all I read, all I read, bro, for the whole night. I'm talking about till next morning. Shit, that's crazy, bro. I missed it. I it was. I loved it. I loved those stories. Ooh, it was. It was one of my. It, it got me hooked. Man. It got me hooked for a long time. But it's not the only one of that genre that did that same thing. And that of... about wraps up this list. Do you think that there are other shows coming in 2024 that the anime community can't wait for? I am still waiting, but yeah, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. I'm st I'm still sad that I didn't see um, Black Clover because I'm still waiting for Black Clover. I don't know. I'm confused. When is it coming back? If it's back already, please let me know. Put it in the comment section. If I need to go, so I can go check my country roll because I haven't checked in like a week. I need to go check back on. And start seeing and get back on that anime but yeah it was good it was good i see some two maybe one or two things that i would watch that i would you know add to my rotation and catch up on and probably just binge it when or just watch it when it comes out i school delete number one that's one and solo leveling i can't want to see how they portray the story in like in anime let's see what's going on yeah so yeah we're gonna end it 